next to some of the northernmost waters of the beautiful Chesapeake Bay. We're at M&T Bank Stadium near Baltimore's Inner Harbor. Justin Tucker has this all teed up. And we're underway from the bank. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. All right, let's get this show on the road. It is first and ten. Putting the tight end in motion. Throwing to start this game. Short pass cut. He loses the football. And the fumble recovery is made. 12 yards on that play and a good call nets him the first. Wow, that was fast. Might be time to take a step back and we just started this game. Maybe take a couple of deep breaths. Very first snap. And he nearly gave it away. That could have mentally taken them out of this game. Yeah, for the player, a little bit easier to respond. For the coaches on the sidelines, that drives them crazy to see the ball on the ground. And we know how precious this ball is in this game. Got to take care of it. Got a man over the middle. Complete. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. Second and six coming up here. They put a receiver in motion here left. From the 43. Quick hitter complete. And he goes out, just needed one more step there to reach midfield. Now here's a spot where the timing's got to be absolutely perfect, Kate, between the quarterback and the receiver. That throw is made before that receiver's ever thinking of coming out of his cut. Too early, it's incomplete, too late, and it's headed the other way. They bring a tight end in motion right. Looking to throw on third and one. To the ground it goes, that's incomplete. And no luck on his first look of the game. And that brings up fourth and short. He's counting his lucky stars. That one isn't headed the other way right now. That is not the time to challenge double coverage. Bucks ready to send it away on fourth as Jake Camarda runs on to punt it. And this one's away and looking good. Nice angle on this one headed towards the sideline. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Now Jackson. That's taken in by Henry. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. I know coordinator and quarterback going to be upset with that first down because you call a screen on first, you're thinking stay ahead of schedule. Even a minimal gain to stay on pace, but instead, the defense creates a negative play and sets him back behind the sticks. They'll run now on second down. And he's brought down across the 15 to about the 16-yard line. It's going to be a pickup of about two. That leaves him with third and nine. I think one thing you learn, Kate, when you transition from college to the NFL, not every run is going to be a big play. Some of them, well, they're just destined to end in a minimal gain, and some of them will set up that critical play action for later. They're going to throw it on third and long. He's on the move. They'll make a bid for it up. Oh, he loses the football. And the Buccaneers scoop it up. Here's first and ten from the 34. Throwing now, following the turnover. Looking right, and he finds him. And he's down inside the red zone before hitting the deck. They gain 14 on the play. And that's good for a Buccaneer first down. Well, that is pretty darn impeccable timing between the two. They hit a curl route of that length. It takes great anticipation and precision by the quarterback and the receiver on the other end, finishing it, doing his job. On first down, they'll run. And he doesn't get this one very far. Down to only about the 18. Give him a few yards on that run. It's second and seven. You know, Kate, I like to call these body blows. Body blows. you got to be committed to running the football. Even if it doesn't move the chains, I guarantee you that wear and tear 
will pay dividends later. Here's White again. And this one's going to come to a stop down at the 13-yard line. Four yards on the pickup, and that's going to leave him with third and three. You know, okay, these are some of the little hidden plays in a game. White right? doesn't look like a whole lot on the stat sheet, but A, it gets a good yardage. B, it sets up your play action. And C, most importantly, keeps that defense guessing. Sending a receiver left. From the gun on third down. Finds his man. It's Godwin. And he'll get them enough for a first down. All right, still scoreless through one quarter, but that looks like it's going to change pretty soon. Hopefully no shortage of excitement coming up in the second. Back to the bank in just a moment. Ready to go with our second quarter. Buccaneers with the ball and a chance to score. A tight end in motion now. advance them down to the four-yard line. Give them around six. That's going to make it second and four. I'm not kidding you, Kate. A run of that length at the NFL level, honestly, is the equivalent of a run of 15-plus at the high school level. It's hard in the run game to make yards, and they just got a very successful one. Again, this is White. And he falls through the defense for a touchdown. He would not be denied that close to the end zone, Brock. I think it might have taken five or six guys tackling him to keep him from diving across the line for six. Certainly a second effort touchdown, no question. The backs who become fan favorites, we've seen it through the generations, and they set the curve for their peers, are the ones who just fight through that stop. It will not be a denied of a touchdown. That one right down the middle. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. McLaughlin has it on the team, and he's ready to send this fly. Return coming from the six. He's got a lane up past the 30. And he manages the 35 before they can stop him. Now we'll get set to see the Baltimore offense for the second time. Still in search of their first points as we work our way through the middle of this game. The score 7-0. The Ravens in a very good field position as they come up first and ten. Motioning one of the tight ends. Play action on first down. Bails out of the pocket quick. He's going to keep it this time. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped on his own side at the 49. He picks up 15 on the play. And that'll be first down, Baltimore. As long as these are the results he's getting, they're going to be just fine with him calling his own number. He does such a good job of seeing the field and knowing when it's his time to take it himself. Here's Jackson to throw. And he's caught downfield on the right side. That goes as a gain of 25 yards and picks up the first. <laughs> That is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. All right, set now, first and 10. They bring their tight end left. Here's Lamar. Short pass caught by his tight end. And they have this down to the 11 before being marked down. Big gain, 14 on the play. And that's good for a Ravens first down. I love throwing on first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for and you go out and execute. Option design here. And the defense gets there to force a small loss.
Jackson looking to throw. He brings it in. And they will score. It's a Baltimore touchdown. The Ravens earn the chance to tie it before halftime. Mark Andrews with the touchdown. So he looks to and finds the big fella, and his tight end takes it in for six. Such a reliable weapon down in the red zone. You know, kind of reminds me like a point guard making an entry pass to that post player. Mm. When you trust your big people around you, and when a quarterback trusts his tight end like that, it makes a difference. Tucker on to handle the kickoff. Here's a return from the seven. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. Well, we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends. But you might be thinking, with plays like that, my guy's ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. you got a chance to let the Madden ratings hotline know just what you're thinking. Give him a call. 1-844-MADDEN-1 and make your case for who should get a boost. Defender arrives right as the ball does and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Gonna have to wait a little longer for his first catch of the game. So that brings up second down. See the pass, time up your hit, and jar that ball loose. Not a lot of players are hanging on through a well-placed hit like that one. Second and ten now. This one is tipped away and incomplete. Good positioning to make a play on it. That forces third down. Well, okay, Kate, that wasn't a fast enough break for the interception, but it was good enough and a good enough break to break on the ball, get a finger on it, and force the incompletion. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. They'll try and pick this up on the ground. And he's brought down for a loss. Now the Ravens are going to use the first of their timeouts. As they'll get together and discuss with fourth down coming up. On again comes Jake Camarda to punt this away. And this will be his second effort of the contest. He sends this away and oh, this is going to be a field flipper. That hits at the nine, but nobody around to grab it. It carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. We see the Ravens making their way out now. And I think they'd be content doing everything the same as their prior drive and getting another touchdown here. They're out and set, first and ten. Man in motion headed right. Looking to throw, Jackson. He's got a man left. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. They manage 22 on the rip and a first down. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains, there wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. Clock's still running as the Ravens try hurrying everyone up. Now here's Lamar. Got a man, coverage lost and complete. And he's going to get past the 40 before he goes out. Big gainer here as he picks up 20. And that'll be first down, Baltimore. They've run this 12-yard out route, Kate, at the Combine. Well, all the way back to last century when I had to throw it. In this throw, this is a big boy throw. This is a differentiator. Can you make that deep out throw on time, on rhythm, and accurately? Well, that was teaching tape right there. And he works this to the 38 before going down. Quarterbacks will look for their tight end short in just about any situation. They take away the deeper options. Now well, there's their consistent source of positive yardage, the trusty tight end. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. They'll throw it again. Finding flowers. And he's able to get this to the 32 before going down.
All plays on the table here for third and three. They'll motion a tight end left. Throwing now off play action. Real in at the seven. They rip off a big chunk of field and it sets them up with first and goal. You know, they call the, the money down for a reason because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. Working inside the red zone. Has it in close. And he's brought down real close to that goal line at the one. It's second and goal. Throwing from the gun here. Rolling. And they will score. It's a Baltimore touchdown. The Ravens take the lead just before halftime. It's a Lamar Jackson touchdown. Great play by the QB there, Brock. The play broke down. He didn't have much of a choice other than to escape and improvise. And in the end, turned out to be the best call he could have made. It is such a necessary tool in today's NFL for that QB to put right in his tool belt, Kate. You know, in my day, you could be a blacksmith. Right? You could you just do the job and stay in the pocket. Not anymore. you got to be an artist. And you got to be an artist that can create when things break down. And that's big time to get a touchdown out of it as well. Tucker on to handle the kickoff. Return coming from the six. He's got a lane up past the 30. And he showed some burst on that return, getting them all the way to their own 40. When you get contributions like that out of your kickoff returner, it is such a boost to an offense. This is about showing no fear. Hitting the lane hard, a determined run back, and setting your offense up with great field position. Good starting field position for the Buccaneers. First and ten. To throw Mayfield. Hauled in by Godwin. It's a pickup of 11. And that's good enough for a Tampa first down. Kid, I can't tell you how good that is. Anticipating the outcut, having the ball on the way before the receiver's head even turns, he puts it on him so that receiver can easily get out of bounds for the nice game. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. Trying to throw here out of the gun. And he has it to the 42 before they make the stop. Timeout taken by the Buccaneers. They're first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. From the 42. So a pass caught by his tight end. And they get there to take him down right around the 41. Tampa spends its second time out now. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. So from a mile away, they'll send out the field goal unit to take a shot at this one. It's a deep shot for him from that left hash. Has the distance, but headed well left. No good. And the deficit stays at seven. Kate, I think it's safe to say the coach was going to probably be asked about why he kicked a field goal on third down after the game. But by missing that field goal, he's going to be asked more than just one question. Here comes the final play of our first half. Throwing it just before halftime. A massive shot towards the end zone. And his perfect start is over. And that's the first one of his throws to wind up incomplete. So we've reached halftime here in Baltimore. The Ravens flying into the break with a lead. Now we'll send you south to Orlando.
Jordan Doe for checking around the league via Jonathan Coachman and the EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, what you got for us? And that's where they'll begin the drive following the return. The Raven offense headed out for this first series of the second half. And they really lean on that passing game in the first half, Brock. Let's see if that emphasis continues to start the third. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Takes the handoff, now to throw. Taken in by Likely. And this one doesn't go far. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball. One of the tight ends motioning right. Here we go, second and nine. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he's short of the first after a mild gain. The goal of that little drag route is to get him for at least a minimal gain with space to add after that. That picked up a good chunk, and it was nearly a big play. And for the Buccaneers, it's a nickel. Look, third down coming. Back to throw. Here's Jackson. Complete beyond the marker. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. A nine-yard gain and good for a first down. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. And off headed right to Henry. And he finds his way up to the 47 before he stops. First down play, nets him five. It's going to be second and five. A humble five to six yard gain on the ground. Not a huge gain, not a game changing play by any means, but one that keeps you on schedule and takes some of the starch out of that front seven. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. Running once more with Henry. And they get him right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it leaves them with third and five. When you rush the passer, it's kind of like tracking down a runner. That same pass, same athleticism comes to life. He looked pretty good hunting his prey right there. So now here's third and five. Now Jackson. Got a man open, complete. And they will score, it's a Baltimore touchdown. The Ravens grow the lead coming out of halftime. Zay Flowers, the touchdown. So sensational work by the skill man there, Brock. Anytime you can make your quarterback look that good, you know he appreciates it. <laughs> That's a quarterback's best friend, no question. <laughs> but on the other side, gosh, defensively, you got to get that, that skill player down. Period, end of story. You can't give up that much yards after catch. Tucker on to handle the kickoff. Return coming from the six. He's got a lane up past the 30. And they finally bring him down after a huge return into their territory. Well, by the time he shifted into a different gear and began that foot race up the left sideline, you could tell this return was already getting out of hand. And what a gift for this offense. He now gets to take over with a lot of the work in the field position already done. They're set up at the 35 now. Got his target. It's Otten. And he's able to get this to the 32 before going down. Well, that's a pretty similar result to a first down run play. Moves it forward. Keeps you on schedule and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. Second down now, seven to go. Out of 
the gun. They'll give it to him inside. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. I know from the position of the quarterback, Kate, sometimes you hand that ball, you put it in the belly of the running back, and you send him right into the teeth of a buzzsaw. You can feel it from the jump, and that call from the defense, well, it came at the perfect time. Throw on third down. And he just gets rid of this one, but unfortunately, that means fourth down coming up. So often, so many of these games in the NFL, where well, they come down to a play or two and third down for the whether it's in a close game or already out of hand, the coach wants to see them convert those. For the second time today, they're going to run the kick team out for the field goal. It's a 50-yard look from the right hash. And this kick is good. He needed to get all of it there, and he did. And that'll get him back to 11. Here in the third quarter, he gets a chance to make up for the miss on his first attempt of the game. This time, well, he is totally dialed in, and he gets this one to count. McLaughlin has it on the tee, and he's ready to send this fly. That's going to be taken in at the eight. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. The Ravens trotting out their offense. And that last drive, no answer for what they were doing through the air. So expect some tighter coverage this time around. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Lamar back to throw. Short pass caught by his tight end. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. It sure seemed like he knew exactly where he was going with that right off the snap. So we hit the end of the third quarter. This one not out of reach quite yet, but it is a two-score game to begin the four. New set of downs for him at the 38. the shotgun they'll give it to him inside and he's going to be brought down at the 42 halfway there on first down that brings up second and five fans love the long ball in baseball it's like they got the home run derby but you know what talk to managers and they will tell you small ball can win too singles and doubles you add them up you could win a lot of baseball games football coaches will tell you you get runs of that length it may not be a home run it may not score points but it can do some serious damage Taps it quick to the receiver coming across. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Looking for his wide receiver there. And that brings up third down. Well, they shoot the pass to try and bring up third and short via a little more conservative ground call, but it backfired. You know, the defense, they'll look for keys up front. And they fired off the line knowing a run was coming. And boy, they busted it before it could get back to the line. To the air, third and long. We had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. I think that was a throw, Kate, that just came a little bit too late. What it did is it gave that defense time to come up and deliver a pop and knock the ball loose before he could secure it fully. The Ravens going to punt this away, and here's Jordan Stout to handle that boot. Kick is away, and this one might bring rain. Wow, what a kick. And he got a little too much leg into that one. That's a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity, no doubt. This ball's coming out to the 20. They'll get this drive started. First and 10. To throw is Mayfield. Escapes the pocket. He tucks it and takes off. 
Ah, nice work here, sliding down after some excellent running and a nice game. A 19-yard pickup, and that's going to move the chains. You know, Kate, back in the day, we had a slip and slide to practice for moments just like that, actually practicing how to slide and get out of harm's way. Nice gain on the play, and denied that defense yet another chance to take a shot on him. Completes this one to Otten. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And that's good for a Buccaneer first down. Here's Mayfield. And he'll get this complete to White. And he's got five, and we've got our two-minute warning. I'll tell you this. You don't want to make a living throwing into double coverage, but double coverage and still finding a way to beat the defense and haul it in. That's not a situation many players win, and a lot of quarterbacks willing to make that throw and trust their receiver to get it done. Throwing now. Got a man. Coverage lost him. Complete. And he'll get this inside the 10 to the 9. Now we're going to get an offensive timeout. So that's their first. And they can take a moment to try to build more momentum after getting that first. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And the third and short in your back pocket, you can get even more aggressive and take that shot. Escapes out to the left. Diving for the goal line, and it's not free! And this is going to be a turnover. The defense forces the big play. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Give right side to Henry. And that runs fairly uneventful. Only a small gain to near the 22. Tampa spends its second time out now. And they'll have just one left to burn now. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Another run for Henry. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. And that timeout taken by the Buccaneers, and that's their final one. And that's all they had, so the offense free to start running the clock down now. Third and six for them to figure out now. And they'll kneel it down. There's still some time to bleed off the clock, but the important factor is that the defense is helpless to stop it. You could just run that clock down as far as you're able and take off every single second. Baltimore lined up in punt formation. And he wants to hit his second effort just as well as he hit his first. Absolutely crushed his first punt, and here's another huge one. He'll field this one at the 23. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. So it ends as a win for the Ravens. They did their part, Brock, defending the home field, using that advantage to secure the victory. We know home field advantage is a real thing. The crowd, they did their part, too, adding to just an awesome atmosphere helping energize those players at big moments of today's ball game. Yeah, it is super fun to win on the road. I'm not going to lie, to quiet the crowd. But you know what's even better? When you get to celebrate with your family, your friends, your hometown people, your community, and you know, more importantly, they played a role as that extra voice in that building, man. It is a rewarding feeling.